Numbers chapter 32 The children of Reuben and the children of Gad had a very large number of livestock. When they saw the land of Jazer and the land of Gilead, they saw that it was suitable for livestock. So the children of Gad and the children of Reuben came and spoke to Moses, Eliezer the priest, and the leaders of the congregation, saying, Adroth, Dibon, Jazza, Nimra, Heshbon, Elili, Shebam, Nebo, and beyond. The land that the Lord struck down before the congregation of Israel is a land for livestock, and your servants have livestock. If we have found favor in your sight, let this land be given to your servants as a possession. Do not make us cross the Jordan. Moses said to the children of Gad and the children of Reuben, Should your brothers go to war while you stay here? Why would you discourage the hearts of the Israelites from crossing into the land that the Lord has given them? That is what your fathers did when I sent them from Kadesh Barnea to see the land. After they went up to the valley of Eshkol and saw the land, they discouraged the hearts of the Israelites so that they did not enter the land that the Lord had given them. So the Lord's anger burned on that day, and he swore an oath. None of the men twenty years old or more who came out of Egypt will see the land I swore to give Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, since they have not followed me wholeheartedly. Except Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite and Joshua the son of Nun, because they followed the Lord wholeheartedly. The Lord's anger burned against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness forty years until the whole generation that had done evil in the sight of the Lord was gone. And now you, a brood of sinners, have risen in place of your fathers, adding more to the Lord's burning anger against Israel. If you turn away from following him, he will once again leave all this people in the wilderness, and you will destroy all of them. They approached him and said, We will build sheepfolds here for our livestock and cities for our families. But we will arm ourselves and be ready to go ahead of the Israelites until we have brought them to their place. Meanwhile, our families will remain in the fortified cities because of the inhabitants of the land. We will not return to our homes until every Israelite has taken possession of his inheritance. Yet we will not take possession with them across the Jordan and beyond, because our inheritance will be on this side of the Jordan to the east. Moses replied to them, If you do this, if you arm yourselves for battle before the Lord, and every one of your armed men crosses the Jordan before the Lord until he has driven his enemies from his presence. And the land is subdued before the Lord, then afterward you may return and be free from obligation to the Lord and to Israel. And this land will belong to you as a possession before the Lord. But if you don't do this, you will certainly sin against the Lord. Be sure your sin will catch up with you. Build cities for your dependents and folds for your sheep, but do what you have promised. Then the children of Gad and the children of Reuben said to Moses, Your servants will do just as my Lord commands. Our children, wives, herds, and livestock will remain here in the cities of Gilead, while your servants, all who are armed for battle, cross over to fight in the presence of the Lord, just as my Lord says. So Moses gave orders about them to Eliezer the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the heads of the Fathers' households of the Israelite tribes. He said to them, If the children of Gad and the children of Reuben cross the Jordan with you, every man armed for battle in the Lord's presence, and the land is subdued before you, then you are to give them the land of Gilead as a possession. However, if they do not cross over with you armed, they must receive property among you in the land of Canaan. The children of Gad and the children of Reuben answered, Just as the Lord has spoken to your servants, we will do. We will cross over into the land of Canaan armed before the Lord, but the possession of our inheritance will remain on this side of the Jordan. So Moses gave them, the children of Gad, the children of Reuben, and half the tribe of Manasseh the son of Joseph, the kingdom of Sion king of the Amorites, and the kingdom of Oji king of Bashan, the land along with its cities and territories, the cities of the surrounding country. The children of Gad built Dibon, Adaroth, Eror. Atroth Shahan, Jazza, Jagbiha, Beth Nimra, and Beth Haran, fortified cities, and built sheepfolds. The children of Reuben built Heshbin, Elili, Kiriathame, Nebo, Balmian, whose names were changed, and Sibma. They gave names to the cities they built. The descendants of Makir, son of Manasseh, went to Gilead. 
captured it, and drove out the Amorites who were there. So Moses gave Gilead to Machir son of Manasseh, and he settled there. Jair son of Manasseh went and captured their villages, which he called Havath Jair. Noba went and captured Kanath and its villages and called it Noba after his own name. 